Hello, John. Wow, what a nice surprise. Can I, sir? I was just driving by. I thought I'd drop in. You can call me Barry now. I'm not your teacher any longer. Oh, what have you been up to since you matriculated? Well, I've got a job in the factory in town, but I still haven't really decided what I want to do with my life yet. Huh? Got any ideas? No, I was kind of hoping you had some. <laughs> well, let's see. What are you interested in? Well, I don't know. Something with a bit of challenge, you know? Uh-huh. How does this sound? You'd need to have a broad general knowledge of the arts and sciences combined with an in-depth knowledge of theology. You'd need to have the ability to teach and to preach. You'd ha need to have a good grounding in counselling, in personal management, in uh, communications and public relations, and uh, a working knowledge of the manual arts, especially in building and architecture. A sound moral character and a stable family life. Well, what do you think? Is that enough challenge for you? Well, listen, I don't want to be Superman. I just want an interesting job. This is an interesting job, John. It's one of the most interesting there is. What's it called? It's called gospel ministry. Oh, a pastor? Yes, that's right. Are you interested? Well, that's not really my scene, is it? You know, a dark suit and a white shirt and a tie with a Bible tucked under my arm. <laughs> Your information's way out of date, John. The pastor today has to keep up with the times. It's a very exciting profession. Uh-huh. Well, OK, let's assume, just for argument's sake, that I am interested. What kind of person to do it? You don't just decide at the drop of a hat to do this job. You have to be called. Oh, yeah. What do you mean, called? Well, it's a strong desire. It's an urging. It's, it's a prompting. It's, um, it's, it's like it's an urging to go out and try it. What, you mean like a temptation? Yes, sort of. Only it's a temptation to do right, not a temptation to do wrong. Well, how does this temptation, or how does the call happen? Well, it's really the work of the Holy Spirit. You see, he can speak to you at any time, any place. Oh, it's all right. You'll know when it happens. It sounds wonderfully mysterious. Well, like I said, this is no ordinary job. Okay, so I get the call. What happens next? Study. Four years of intensive study at one of the finest Christian colleges in the country. There's a magnificent waterfall up in the hills there. Uh -huh. Bushwalk too. Mm -hmm. So this is Avondale College, eh? This is Avondale. It's where I did my training to be a teacher. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Seems like a really nice place. Is she a theology student? She could be. There are women who do a theology degree here. Of in last class, can anyone tell me now what is felt needs evangelism? It's got to be based on the fact that most people today don't know anything about Christianity, so you can't use traditional evangelism. You can't just preach about the Bible. You've got to go amongst the people and find what the needs are and fill it. Right, OK, thank you very much. And on the blackboard, we put up here different ways in which we can actually reach people with different types of programs. The five-day plan, helping people giving up smoking, people under a lot of stress today, so we put up stress control, uh, help, weight control, drug education. There are many, many ways in which we can reach people with our felt needs evangelism. And then eventually we're going to move into a revelation seminars in which we're going to get you all to participate in this. And then finally we have a week program running a traditional mission program. And our ultimate aim is to raise up a new church here at Belmont. That is our ultimate aim here for our class project this year. Good day, John. How'd you go? Great. Just great. Those guys were really good. Answered all my questions. Well, most of them. That's good. So, what do you think? Does this line of work appeal to you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, if you do decide to become a minister, you'll have to learn to say yes and not yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> there is one other thing, though. Might sound silly. What's that? Well, after four years of study, what's my chance to pick up a job? Relax, John. Look, we're always needing bright young men and women to serve in the ministry, and especially right now. This church is a worldwide organisation, and it's getting bigger all the time. And there'll always be a constant demand for workers. Are you sure that girl at Avondale College wasn't a theology student? Well, is there any one sure way to find out? Well... Better put this in the mail then.